In 2003, in China, American citizen Stephen Kim was arrested for helping North Korean refugees who were fleeing a life of oppression and starvation. Under China's Article 318, Stephen Kim was sentenced to five years in prison. Who is Stephen Kim? And why was he jailed for helping those in need? Seon Won Kim was born in South Korea in 1949. At the age of 26, he immigrated to the United States, where he met his wife and started a family. In the late 1980s, amid the expansion of Chinese-American trade relations, Stephen opened a furniture factory in the Guangdong province in China. For many years, he traveled to China for business, sometimes spending months at a time there. In the late 90s, Stephen became aware of North Korean refugees in China. But it wasn't until after he had attended Father School, a Christian ministry for men, to improve themselves as parents and husbands, that he decided to get personally involved and began renting apartments in China to shelter refugees and provide food and clothing. For four years, Stephen helped people in need, people seeking freedom from the oppressive North Korean regime, where everything from food to thought is government regulated. He helped people move with safety to a land that welcomed them. How is this a crime? Despite being a party to the Refugee Convention and Protocol, China has chosen to view the people fleeing North Korea as economic migrants rather than political refugees and forcibly repatriates them to a hostile government. Repatriated North Koreans are subjected to brutal treatment, including detention, torture, placement in concentration camps, forced labor, and even execution. North Korean authorities are particularly brutal toward those suspected of making contact with South Koreans, missionary groups, or other foreigners. Not only does China repatriate North Koreans, it has also prevented aid agencies from entering the region to monitor the situation, offer assistance, and set up refugee camps. In addition, in an effort to sanitize its international image before August 2008, when all eyes will be on Beijing for the Summer Olympics, China has also begun tracking down humanitarian workers and jailing them. Stephen Kim endured years of forced labor in Chinese prisons. Despite efforts by his wife Helen and several human rights organizations, he was released early only due to his earning release credits through forced labor, creating goods which made a profit for the government that imprisoned him. On September 25, 2007, Stephen Kim was reunited with his family. Though banned from China, he has vowed to continue his work there by creating the 318 Project, which will shed light on this crisis. The 318 Project is a global initiative founded by Stephen Kim to solve the plight of the North Korean refugees. 318 Project is raising awareness with a new book and documentary and the 318 Partners Mission is actively providing relief for those in danger. And I didn't know before that all these people, they chanted my name, and now I'm here. So we will chant your name also, and you will be released. 318 is working for their safety. The danger is real. The time is now.